Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add grunge colors to your photo. Now what I mean by that is we're going to add a little bit of distress and boost this really green grungy color into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to Filter, Lens Correction. When this window pops up, head over to this custom tab and the third box down should say Vignette. I'm going to create a dark vignette there and this is just something that you can add to most of your photos actually and I think it always looks a bit nicer. You can adjust the amount and midpoint however you like. So that creates a little bit of a focal point on your image. Next we want to create some wear and tear. So create a new layer and what we're going to do is if you have default color set on we want to make our foreground color a light brown tan color. You can use your own shade for a different effect. I'm going to use the color code 978675. So go ahead and hit OK and your background color should be white. So now go to Filter, Render, Clouds so that we can go to Filter, Render, Fibers. Now, what you're going to do with these fibers, you can turn the variance down to 1 and the strength down to 1 and hit randomize until you get an effect that's more white than it is tan. That way it creates these little streaks so that if we set it on multiply, it creates a very slight um, wear and tear, almost like your photo got wet and then dried again. It creates these little worn wrinkles. Next we're going to add our color which is very simple. Just create a new adjustment layer of a gradient map and select this drop down menu here click on this little arrow and special effects should be a preset where you'll select this white to green to black and make sure to reverse it so that it comes out like so and then set that to overlay which immediately gives your color a very harsh but nice grungy looking effect in combination with the vignette and the worn out fiber layer we made it creates a nice touch to your otherwise normal photo so as you can see a pretty cool color effect for you to use on your photos and if you still want to adjust it you can go back and redo the fibers to see how they look just click render fibers again with your colors at tan and white you can adjust the strength a little bit. I don't recommend going too high because then it doesn't look too soft anymore. But as you can see, it creates these nice little stains to give a little bit of personality to your photos. Hopefully you can use this method to recreate the effect on a photo of your own or you can take bits and pieces of this effect and use them however you like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.